Uh, to begin, I would like to share with you how to create a simulated DAQ 6009. Now, this is an assumption that if you are doing this remote learning outside of campus or out of the lab, you need to create a simulated DAQ of the 6009 hardware, which you do not have, I'm assuming, at the moment. Right? Now, the good thing about the NI hardware is that you can create the simulated deck DAQ6009 in the absence of the physical hardware for testing. And subsequently, when you are back in the lab, you can use the DAQ6009 physical hardware and connect into your program. And you can just do some simple modification and you can connect to the hardware itself. So without further ado, let's show you how to do it. Now what you need to do is to uh, locate the DAQ assistant. Uh, using the NI Max. So go to the uh, search for NI Max. NI Max stands for, uh, as you know, Measurement and Automation Explorer. So go to and so search NI Max. Okay, launch the NI Max Measurement and Automation Explorer, as you can see over here. Alright, uh, go to my devices and interface, right? Now, at the moment, I already have a simulated deck, okay, uh, the 6009, which, but I'm going to show you how to create one. So, I'm going to delete this one first. Okay, so uh, select the devices and interfaces as you can see over here. Currently, there's empty. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click, create a new. Alright, create a new. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, uh, right click create new okay now a new window pops up as you can see over here asking you uh, what item you would like to add so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select a simulated deck uh, NI deck MX device or modular instrument right I'm going to have a simulated one I know that we at the moment you may not have the physical hardware Right, so we're going to select this and click finish. Okay, a window actually appears asking you uh, what type of uh, NI simulated uh, NI DEC MX hardware do you want to, to uh, simulate. So I'm going to select the USB device, right, because our we know that our NI USB 6009 hardware in our lab is uses a, six, a USB device. So I'm going to select the NI USB 6009 as you can see over here and I'm going to click OK. Now automatically uh, this hardware 6009 appears. Now notice that this is a simulated device and not the real 6009. Uh, on the inspection of that USB logo there, you notice that it's a little bit uh, yellowish uh, in color. So we know that this is the simulated device and not the actual device itself. The actual device itself would show a black color USB logo. But this is a simulated device. Alright, so with that, uh, we can even simulate as though it's like the real physical device, even though you may not have the hardware with you. So you can do things like a self-test. Okay, do a self-test on it. Right-click, self-test. You can see that even it reports that the device, the device has passed the test successfully. Okay. Let's uh, 